23 for Army Recognition Editorial Team at AED 2016 Africa Aerospace and Defense Exhibition. This is one of the most important defense exhibitions in Africa. There is a large presence of international pavilion, including China, Turkey, Russia, Belgium, and also a pavilion dedicated for the African countries. This is the first time the Polytechnology introducing the Silent Hunter laser interception systems. Uh, it can be also mounted on the uh, APCs, so any armored uh, combat vehicles. The uh, firing range it is pan, uh, is a uh, relationship with the uh, power. Could the uh, maximum could up to uh, four kilometer. Now the main mission for this system is for the uh, small size UAV because it depends on the uh, power. Yeah, so the operator is in this carbon. And the, in the rear carbon is only some equipment, like the laser equipment and other uh, subsystems. So uh, Polar Technology uh, produces uh, two production lines. The first one is a 6x6 six six wheeled armored vehicle, the type is a CSVN4. And another line, production line is a 8x8 eight eight wheeled armored vehicle called Type 07P. Within the uh, platform, I mean the 6x6 six six chassis, we can uh, integrate it with a different uh, weapon system. You can see here, start from a reconnaissance system, all the radars and the mounters and the machine gun and even the anti-air missiles. We can also select the 8x8 platform and uh, equip it with uh, these uh, weapon systems. We are presenting uh, the assault rifle uh, that is not really brand new, but it's under development uh, according to our configuration and specifications. Uh, it's uh, the Era X200 in the caliber 7.62 by 51, so 308 uh, approximately. And it's a caliber which is very important because uh, we have developed under the ARX 160 platform. Uh, it's an uh, assault rifle uh, which is featured obviously semi-automatic and full automatic mode. The magazine contains a 20 round, it's the old netto caliber obviously, and with a cycling rate of fire of 800 rounds a minute. So, before we have developed a urban sniper, and now we are facing and focusing on this new assault rifles, which is the one that also the Italian army is adopting. So we are now presenting in this new configuration with the ICS, so the Innovative Combat Site, developed by Steiner. Uh, from the Beretta world, we are now uh, showing the, the, this configuration of the APX, the striker firing pin pistol. Uh, so this is uh, the configuration without safety on the frame, but it can be also available with a manual safety in order to discharge the, the firing pin. So polymer frame, uh, very important and the innovation of this pistol is the fact that just pushing a side pin located on the frame, you can discharge the firing pin without acting on the trigger and very important it's serialized on the internal chassis so what does it mean that I can change my configuration of a frame if I want for example an external safety and the mine is not featuring just by changing the, the polymer frame because the serial number is located inside on a special metal uh, frame so steel barrel and a slide tilting barrel. This is not really a new shotgun, it's a new configuration developed by Benelli, another sister company located in Italy, so we are speaking about a, a totally made in Italy shotgun, the famous M4. In this case it's featuring a special rail which is uh, contouring, uh, the, let's say, the magazine tube uh, uh, consisting of 5 plus 1 uh, shots in the 12 gauge, contouring uh, the magazine tube and the barrel in order to mount a Picatinny rail 360 
60 degrees. So we are improving the, uh, let's say, operation and uh, the, um, uh, let's say, modularity of this gun that we remember is uh, the one used by special forces for door breaching, for increasing the stopping power, very effective 100, 150 meters in order to stop car, in order to break doors. So it's uh, much more stopping powerful than a normal assault rifle. We are exhibiting here today together with the Belgian security and defense industry and our purpose is of course to um, be present for the South African market and for some other African markets for which we actually contribute largely to their uh, equipment of uh, armament and ammunition. Well I'd say especially in Africa we have uh, more than 100 years of experience. We have been here selling the FAL since uh, I would say centuries. Uh, we continue to promote our new products today. Um, which is really requested by uh, the, the Ministry of Defence and Minister of Interior.